Then I'll just fight the Elder. This shouldn't be too bad. The first time I fought him, I was I was much worse at the game than I am now. Um, again, not great at the game now, but I'm better than I was then. So that's the important part. Slow improvements. Ooh, and I just actually came to a conclusion. I saw this little leftover. This is a Grey Dwarf nest would be in there. I've, I've broken it down. I need Grey Dwarf uh, seeds, ancient seeds, or I can't summon the boss. So I'm glad I noticed that too before I went all the way over there. So I'm just going to run back. The skeleton and the Grey Dwarf can fight each other. I'm going to run to my teleporter, grab the seeds, run back here, break the teleporter down. There's a little trick you can do because the teleporters are linked. Like you'll see this teleporter is named when it's done loading. This teleporter is named 2. So I can actually change the name of this teleporter after I um, change the name of the teleporter and then jump through it. And it'll connect to its old name for just a moment. Uh, and then while it's connected to its old name, I can jump through and then rebuild it over at the other place. But I'm, I don't need to do that right now. That's just a little trick. So here's my seeds that I needed. And I, I'm not going to clear out my inventory. It'll just take too long to organize everything, and I don't need to. Um, I'm not in like a... I won't, I'm not getting anything loot-wise from the boss. Like I'm not going to pick up a bunch of metal or something. Uh, so I'm okay with having a, a, a filled inventory. And then I'm going to tear this down. And when I rebuild it, I will just rename it too. And then I will be able to... Uh, as a result of that, I'll be able to... Um, teleport back. Oh, I'm carrying too much. Let me get rid of just a little bit. Because I need to run over... Well, dang it. Uh, I'll just drop this fine wood while I fight this, uh, this skeleton. I need to eat some food, too. I'm kind of hungry. Okay, so I need to find a way to, to, to um, not be carrying so much. 28 berries, but that's so many. I could get rid of it, but I don't want to get rid of them. Um, one wood I can get rid of. Oh, that was perfect. A wood is two weight. I thought a wood was one weight. So just to uh, save a little time, and it's not even a little time. Uh, save a lot of time. I'm not boating from up here. I'm going to boat from down here. Uh, and by placing my boat in the water down here, I just won't have to, you know... Uh, you know, sail around the whole island, which could take like half an hour. And I've already kind of taken enough time to get here, so I'm okay doing it as quick as possible. And as I said, there's a chance this island is like all the way down, and I can make, I can go to the Elder from the island, like from land, but I'm already here with the boat and stuff. So I just need to make a crafting bench, because you, you always, or a workbench, you always have to have a workbench to make anything else. And then why can't I make my boat? 20 resin? I put my resin away. I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna cry. It's not that big of a deal. I can put this here and go real ho go home from right here real quick. I'm glad I have this teleporter though. If I didn't, I would be sad. Um, that would have just been even more time. But we're good. I have. I can go get the resin. It'll take no time. I'm already home. I did not mean to put all my resin away. Resin, resin. Okay, and now I can make the boat. Yep, boat's makeable. Okay, confirmed. Oh, I'm gonna keep walking past this building. So yeah, it's about 15 minutes before five. We might actually fight the boss, like kill the boss um, before five. I thought it would take a little bit longer, um, even longer than it took, but uh, so who knows? But the boss fight itself will take uh, quite a few minutes. And if I die, it might take even longer. So this is the first boat. Well, that's not really true. The raft here is the first boat, but the raft is a death trap. Uh, yeah, Greek and sea monsters is a big to topic. Yeah, I know there was a lot of sea monsters in Greek mythology. And in Norse mythology too, which we might come across as I go into the ocean here. But yeah, the, the raft is like a death trap. Don't get on the raft. Um... And you can't boat into the wind. So this uh, wasn't shown before on the on the right of my screen. It shows which direction the wind is going. So you actually have to, you know, you have to fight the wind to, to get across the oceans. Um, but you can, you can, there's always a way. Even if the wind is blowing directly against where you would like to go, you can do what's called braking. Uh, and you'll just cut left and right and, you know, slowly get to where you're going. But so we're out at sea now. 
but I'm technically not at sea. I'm still, it says in at the top right of my screen inside the map, it says meadows. As long as it says meadows, I'm safe from sea monsters. But if I make a hard left here, it looks like maybe this is gonna be uh, sea. And I don't need to go this way. I'm just showing um, on the mini map. See if I can get the get the um, the biome to change over to to ocean. It looks like not. That's okay. I thought it was gonna be ocean. But yeah. So because the biome reads this as meadows. Uh, um, because the biome reads this as meadows, there's no sea monsters. Sorry, I got a little lost there. Um, and I'm just gonna swim right up here. I guess I actually need to go over to the uh, to the west more. So, so this is what I was talking about. Um, even if the the wind is not like I'm going into the wind here, the direction I want to go is into the wind. I can just do this. This is called breaking. Um, I didn't know about this technique until I uh, started playing Valheim. My first Valheim boat experience, when the wind went against me, I was like, I don't know what to do. So I, I just Googled it. Um, and I think people figured this out like thousands of years ago, that you can do this. So I'll, I'll make my way over there shortly. Um, I'm mostly traveling straight up right now, but on the way back down, I'll be able to travel at a really nice angle to move uh, westward. Even though the wind isn't necessarily the, uh, the best for that. And the wind does change, so there's always a chance it just changes on me. Like, I think it's changed a little bit now. I think I was a little uh, closer to the edge, and it, it shifted. So we're pretty far away. Like, we've gone from over there all the way up here. And then, yep, so I can go. Well, I can go pretty much the direction I wanted to go. I don't need to, to do the braking, as I was calling it. Yeah, the game is really pretty. I love the lighting, love the artwork off in the distance and stuff. I think it looks good. So I'll be able to boat right up to the Elder, it looks like. And it does, because I'm thinking maybe this, I've, I've discovered just a touch of mountain up here, the white part of my map. I think that uh, that is this mountain. Maybe it continues all the way down. I'm looking, it looks like maybe there's a different mountain over there, actually. Because um, as I mentioned, again, the geography that you see in the distance is the real geography of the game. Only the Yggdrasil, Yggdrik if I'm saying it close to correct, only the tree here is um, not real. Like this is just sitting in the sky, but um, everything else is real geography. If you see a mountain, you can go touch it. Oh, the wind shifted. Yeah, so I'm no longer getting the wind on my on my sails. So I was slowly just going to slow down and eventually just sit in the in the ocean, stalled out. So no sea monsters on this trip, but I'm kind of okay with that. They're they're hard to kill. I really would like to kill one. They give very good materials that we'll get into, of course, if we ever kill one. But they also can destroy your ship. And destroying your ship while you're at sea is just about the worst thing that could happen to you. Um, the metal materials from the ship will sink to the bottom of the ground, I think, or to the bottom of the ocean. Everything else sits on the top of the ocean but your, all of your stuff is here where you die as well, so you're just kind of stuck out in the ocean. It's not pleasant. You don't want to die at sea. Um, of course, you have a map to get back to. Oh, so that's, I'm in ocean, right here. This is an ocean, technically. So there's a little, a tiny chance that a sea monster would spawn. Um, I mean, I'm already out of the ocean, so you know, no longer will they spawn. But there was a tiny chance a sea monster would spawn and, and come smash my boat to bits. And I'm very near the boss. Like, it's it's just right in there. And I actually don't want to put my boat too near the boss, because the boss will destroy my boat as well. So I might... Let me see. It's Yeah, the boss is up there. You can see it's uh, on my mini-map. It's little, this little horn symbol. That's the boss. So my boat being out here is, is quite alright with me. And I'm just pulling up the sail so I lose momentum. And then when you jump off your boat, it immediately anchors. It just stops, so. And I need a little bit of wood. Yeah, I need some wood to make my, um... Oh, there's a couple deer there. That'd be nice, but... I need a little bit of wood to make a new crafting bench so I can put the portal down. And then when the portal's down, I'm gonna go home and go to sleep. Just to get the rested buff and so I can fight the boss during the day. Because it's almost nighttime. And then we'll come back and fight him. And we were actually able to take care of this, so far at least. We're going to start the fight before 5, so 
no no real stream extension, I guess. If anyone's was looking forward to a, a longer than five o'clock stream, then I'm sorry, but we're at least hopefully going to take care of this boss in a few minutes. I hope it doesn't take more than five, ten minutes. Um, hey, Nish, Nish, Nistari? Nistari, I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. It means a lot. We're trying to reach 20 followers. Uh, every, every person counts. I really appreciate it. If you feel comfortable, you can come into the chat. I'll happily chat with you and answer any questions. And if you don't feel comfortable chatting, that's fine too. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, I love that emote. I don't know whose it is, but it looks like a cute little unicorn. Um, but yeah, welcome to the chat. Thank you for the follow. Oh, this is my first two-star enemy. So this enemy is even tougher than a one-star enemy. And of course, the one-stars are tougher than the regular. So because it's a gray dwarf, it's not like that big of a deal. But if I was fighting a, a tougher set of enemies, like that I wasn't prepared for, a two-star enemy would just be the end of my existence. Oh, well, he well, hello to him, too. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I'm glad he's enjoying it. Um... I can give him a shout out if you'd like. I can say hello to Nistari's husband on my next Rimworld. I'm, I'll be playing it tomorrow, and I'm I'm getting talking, so I'm getting a lot of damage here. So I need to focus up. I'm sorry. Uh, these are some a little bit tougher mobs with the shamans there too. This nest is going to keep spawning them. But yeah, welcome in Nistari. I really appreciate it, and I'm I'm really glad to hear your husband's enjoying the uh, the Rimworld series. It's been a blast to start making this stuff. So just to see anybody enjoying it is a, a real blessing. Like I'm, I'm, I feel super, super lucky that I have people chatting and watching. Um, are you familiar with uh, Valheim, the story? Or uh, did you just pop in out of, just out of, you know, because you had already seen other content? Because if you're not familiar with Valheim, I'm happy to uh, explain anything. And do I have enough wood? Yes, I have enough wood. So I'm going to try not to die while I make this stuff, and I'm going to run. A little, but not much. Okay. So yeah, it, it's Viking Minecraft. I was explaining it earlier. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. We've spent most of the stream today preparing for a boss fight, and we're just about there. So I'm just trying to run away from these guys uh, so I can build my, my teleporter and run away so I can rest up for the boss. So I'm going to build this and then my teleporter real quick. And then I need to tag it as two, and then run away, because I'm going to die. Yeah, this is a lot of enemies. Okay, yep. They won't attack my teleporter while I'm gone, but when I come back, they're going to be still standing there ready to attack me. So, that's going to be a, a bit of a fight. But I'd much rather do it during the day with a rested buff. Yeah, all of the bosses are indeed based off of... Uh, the Viking lore, or like Norse mythology, like real stuff. You're here to, um, you're doing Odin's duty. You're in Viking, uh, purgatory. It's, uh, you can't go to Valhalla until you kill all of Odin's leftover mess. So you're taking care of the mess that he left behind. This is just a troll, not a boss, but, um, but yes, yeah, so you're just kind of, you're just kind of hanging out. Um, there's no rush in this game. You don't have to do anything, you know, at any, at any pace that you don't want to do it. It's a fun game. I really enjoy it. So I'm going to go back and try not to... Why? I don't know how these graylings keep getting in past my wall. I guess that little gap is is a, a big weakness. Yep, cleaning up after the all, Daddy. That's exactly correct. Um, so I'm going to teleport back and hope that those monsters aren't just smacking me straight away. I have my rested buff. Okay. But yeah, I think I think most everything in the game is pretty, pretty accurate to the mythology of, of the Viking people. Oh my goodness, they're here. They're angry. So I need to go break the, uh, they might break all my stuff down. As long as they don't attack my boat. Yeah, they're chasing me. Oh, there's a troll here, too. This is, this is quite a mess. I need to get this nest taken care of, though. They're going to keep spawning out of this nest forever. Um, okay, okay, that was spooky. Uh, I dodge rolled out of the troll, but that was not, not great. Um, so I'm not going to be able to fight the boss quite yet. I got to get all these monsters away from here. Because uh, this is way too many monsters to fight the boss alongside. And they, the, the, the elder is the elder Grey Dwarf. He is the, the first Grey Dwarf. He's, he makes the rest, so. Are they Bifrost? Oh, Bi is Bifrost is like the... That's fi I'm, I'm not 100%. I don't know what you mean. Oh, the troll is a big boy, yes. Um, 
But yeah, Valheim, Valheim's not very buggy at all. If you were put off by uh, the bugginess of any other game, Valheim is really, really well developed. Um, and then because they're fighting the skeleton, that probably would have, would have been a good time for me to run away. So yeah, when this skeleton... Is there more? Th yeah, so the skeletons here will aggro these mobs and give me just enough time to run away from them. Because I don't want to fight them. Even if I wasn't trying to kill the boss, that's just a huge number of mobs. I don't, I don't want to fight them. It's getting a little laggy. I think that's just the rain and everything and all the fighting going on over there. Putting my computer through the through the work, so. Oh, dude, the shop! Let's go! I've been looking for this shop. There's one shop in the whole game, and I just found it. And I'm super early. This is the whole world, and I've explored none of it. This is the shop, so I'm super excited to have found that. Um, that's great. That's That'll enable a lot of stuff. Uh, so after this boss fight... Well, it won't be today. I'm going to end the stream after the boss fight. But on my next stream, I'm definitely going to explore that shop. I'm so happy that that's there. And I'm going to get rid of this nest uh, before it spawns a bunch of stuff. And Because I might want to run over here during the boss fight. Um, all those monsters were over there because I didn't get rid of the nest. I needed to do it quicker than I did. Okay. And so if you thought the troll was big, you're going to be in for quite a surprise when you see the Elder. This The Elder is a very large, very monstrous enemy. Um, and this is where you summon the Elder. Uh, it's a little, a little sad. You have to sacrifice these seeds to the Elder, and being that, or to the fire here, being that the, the Grey Dwarfs are wood, these seeds are their babies. So I'm going to uh, violently sacrifice these seeds, and then I'm going to run. I'm going to get really, really far away because I'm afraid. And it should play some awesome music now, some epic boss music. And this is the Elder. Yeah. Okay, so the first time I did this, it took me quite a long time. I was not good. I'm still not great. Um, but I'm hoping I'm better. The rain cleared up and stuff. Ooh, this is this big attack. And he will knock these trees down. He will he will take these out pretty quickly, so... Um, I can hide behind him a little bit. But even just getting hit by one vine... Oh, what are you doing here? There's a troll here. Oh, no. And there was another of uh, the teleporters. Uh, this is this is not good. This is a mess. This is scary. Um, yeah, I need, to I need to kill the troll and then focus back up on the boss. Trolls are pretty weak to arrows, so that's okay. Um, but the boss will slowly heal as I'm as I'm not fighting him. He's gonna heal up a little bit, so I really want to get back in there. Um, and I'm gonna use my power from the first boss so I can run around more, so I can run from this troll more. And the elder, as you can see, is gonna chase me forever. He's gonna. There's no getting away from him. Well, you can run away from him eventually, but it's uh, it's not very easy to get away from the bosses. So this is this is not great. Oh, and I might die there. Okay, the dodge rolls, the iframes from the dodge rolling, Dark Souls style is what saved me. Um, he would have hit me, but the dodge roll just makes you immortal. Like there, I got hit, but I didn't die. I actually can survive one hit, so that's good to know. Okay, I just need to let my stamina charge back up. Oh, and I ran far enough away that the elder is no longer in combat with me. Um, so he's still, the Elder is still there. I say he, I don't know if it's a he or a she, um, but they are still there, um, and, uh, we'll, I'll fight them again. Oh, and it looks like maybe the rain just went away for the Elder fight. Um, oh, you know what? I bet the game turns the rain off during the Elder fight intentionally because the Elder is weak to fire. That's why I brought these fire arrows, um, and you can't be caught on fire during the, uh, during the rain. Um, why are there so many Grey Dwarfs? This is so many enemies. I, I don't know why there's so many of them. This might have been the whole pile of them that I was I left with the skeletons before. But there's normally not quite this many of these Grey Dwarfs. So I'm just going to axe them down. Um, they're not that threatening. Using up all my stamina. But um, as you can see, the, the Elder's health has gone up a little bit in this time that I've not been fighting it. And my bow is only half uh, half half power or whatever, half use. I've used half of it. So I'm uh, I'm going to have to leave. I won't be able to finish the boss in one go. I need to fix my bow up. 
Oh, hey, Wolfville, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. As I said before, if you're comfortable chatting, you can come say hi. I'm happy to chat with you. And if you're not comfortable chatting, you just want to lurk, then that's fine too. I love my lurkers. Oh, I just took so much damage. I'm going to drink a potion. Uh, seven, drink a potion. Okay. Because I don't want this Grey Dwarf Shaman to kill me with his poison. Come on. Die, Shaman. No, he's healing. Oh, and this is the rest. There's more. There's just so much going on. He's watching this on the TV. Okay. Well, I hope you're getting some enjoyment out of it. Uh, I mentioned before, this boss fight is particularly tough. Uh, last time I came, it took me a long time on my first playthrough off stream. Uh, and I thought it would be tough uh, this time. And I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting the toughness I was expecting. This is not, not an easy fight. And he's going to summon these roots from the ground if you stay in that. Why is there another troll? What's going on? This is this is madness. This is normally like there's not that many enemies in this game normally. Um, this is this is a lot more than I was expecting. And I missed that shot. Oh, no, it looks like he's on fire. OK. Oh, boy. Oh, my. This was uh, a lot more than I was expecting. Oh, and I'm missing and stuff. I can't afford to miss. And I don't have any more of these arrows. When I run out of these arrows, I need to craft more. Um, and I'll eventually just run out of the materials. What's the troll fighting? He's not fighting me. He, there might be some skeletons up there. Okay, I'm going to bring my axe out. I'm far enough away from the elder that I think I can axe these guys. Okay. And then hopefully after I take out this set of Grey Dwarfs, that'll be the last of them. Um, from the, the, the mess that I created initially. Oh, and I, I need to parry him so I'm not just taking damage every swing. Don't throw a rock at me, you troll. What's going on? Come on. And then the, the Shaman heals them, so this is... It's just a mess. This is a mess. Confirmed mess. Do I need food? I don't need food. I'm okay. I need to kill this shaman. Okay, I was able to dodge roll. No, don't poison me. At least he's not healing. I guess I'd rather him poison me than heal everyone. And you can't dodge roll if you don't have the stamina for it, so I need to be particularly um, uh, greedy with my stamina. I don't know what word I'm looking for. I am, you know, I'm a little uh, focused, uh, a little overwhelmed. Uh, but I need to make sure that I have stamina to roll away from that troll, because I don't have the health to survive another hit right now, I don't think. Um, okay, that was... I didn't even need to roll that one. Okay, okay. So I'm going to have to run away and restock on uh, arrows and fix my bow after this troll kill. I'm not going to go back to the um, boss itself. And I didn't mark where I put my boat. That's not great. I meant to mark where my boat was. It must be just up here, though. Um, just based on what I've discovered of this area. Um, and without the boss fight being here. Like, without the boss here, the music's back to normal. Not not as, not as spooky anymore. Just a troll fight. This is... I've done this many a time, so I'm okay with this. I do want to try to... Oh, no, get off this log. Um... I want to try to stay where I've already been, and I was looking for my boat. I just saw it. Uh, but I don't want to go to new areas, because I might come across more and more enemies if I do that. Looks like his AI is a little broken. Um, the AI breaks a little bit sometimes. Um, nothing you can really do about it, I guess. Oh, well, he just broke the log. that he was, His AI was broken behind, I think, so... And I've said this a couple times, but the enemies, you can, like the trolls, you can get them to mine for you. If you find a big copper deposit, the trolls will smash it down with their logs and stuff. Not willingly, trying to murder you, they will smash it down with their logs. Ooh, why is the elder fight back up? Where's the... I hope the elder's not too nearby. Because I don't want him to be near my boat. I really don't want the elder to get near my boat. If that gets destroyed, uh, I'll be very sad. Okay, troll killed, troll killed. So where's the elder? If I can't see him, like in visual range, or her again, I don't know who the elder is. If I can't see it, I'm okay. I'm gonna teleport away. Um, the deer's just scared of me. It'll go in the ocean, that's fine. Okay, so I didn't die. That's a good start. I cleared out most of the, the army of mobs that was there. It's late enough that I think I'm gonna go to sleep. 
I'm gonna... Maybe it's not late enough? I thought it was, like, nighttime. I thought I saw red. Maybe that was just the glow of the elder. Like, it, him, the elder being there. Um, and now I have some extra wood. I can upgrade my bow while I'm here. I can actually make it a little better, as well as making some new uh, arrows. So I just need feathers and resin. Feathers and then resin. Okay, and then I can make a couple more arrows. I say a couple. Uh, I can fill my, my stack of 100 back up to 100. And then I'm also going to make my bow a little better. Oh, what do I need for the bow? Five core wood? Did I, I thought I grabbed my core wood. Sorry about that. I'm going to run right back. See, so yeah, if you have any questions that you didn't feel, you know, necessarily great about asking during the active part of that boss fight, if you want to shout them out to me right now, I can answer them a little more clearly, probably. Uh, I know we were kind of having a conversation, and then the boss fight took, took all my attention away. I'll be back there in a moment, but um, if you have any, any quick questions or anything, I will do my best to answer them before, before I run back. I don't want that arrow to be in there, but I don't want to organize my inventory. I'm, I want to get back in the boss fighting. Let me in the room. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade my bow, and it'll just do a little more damage and stuff. Um, repair all my gear. There's a grayling somewhere. I heard it growling. Uh, and I'm just going to make some more fire arrows. And this should be enough to get me up to 100. And then once I'm over 100 fire arrows, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm more comfortable going back and fighting them. And I need to fix my gate. There's a tiny, or my, my wall, there's a tiny little area they can walk in and there. I feel like they wouldn't even walk in when there was no wall. But now that I've put a wall, they go around it and walk in. Um, like it was better with no wall at all. It was more protected. And I have the rested buff. I don't have the rested buff for very long though, for just uh, one minute left. So I'm just gonna hang out. I hope y'all don't mind. I'm gonna hang out in my house for 20 seconds and you get your rested buff refreshed. So I'm just chilling. Hope everyone's enjoying their time. Hope everyone's enjoying the boss fight. It looks like the stream is extended a little bit. This boss fight's taking um, longer than I thought. So I might be here for another 10, 20 minutes. So a little extended stream today. Hope everyone's okay with it. And there's the rested buff, so I'm ready to go. If I can find my teleporter room, let me in. Okay, now I'm ready to go. You get caught on the doors a little bit in this game. It, it's just a thing. Um, if you have the ground nice and flat and stuff like that, it helps. But my ground is kind of ugly looking. And I want to get the troll flesh. I actually should have done that before. Um, I'll get rid of these berries. Eat some fresh food. And then, yeah, got that epic boss music going. So we're, uh, we're back in it. There's one mob here. I want to kill this guy before I see the elder. He's a one-star brute, so he'll... Yeah, he damaged me even through my parry. Even though I'm, like, parrying at the right time, he's still hitting me hard enough. Ooh, wow. I missed the parry, so he hit really hard. I might not even try to parry him. Just try to get out of the way of the attacks. Oh, and the elder's healed up so much. He's nearly full HP again. Not great. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna die to this single brute before I even make it to the boss. I'll go back to arrows. Um, as I was mentioning, the one stars on harder enemies are tough, and these Great Orf Brutes are the, uh, the tougher enemies. Okay, okay. So I'm a little low on HP, but I don't want to drink a potion. It'll all heal up over time, and hopefully not die to the Elder, because you can only drink a potion once every two minutes. So I want to kind of use it as an emergency if I'm feeling a little panicked. Hide behind the tree until it falls. And you can you can cheese the boss. His little pillars are actually immortal. So if he's at a long distance away from his own pillars, he'll constantly use that attack. And then you can hide behind the pillars. But I don't want to do that. You know, I'm not, not too big on the cheese. Um, maybe off stream I would, but um, I don't think it's that entertaining to watch someone just cheese the boss. So, you know, and this is more, more validating. So I'm happy to do it. Ooh, if I could land a shot, I'd be happy to do it. And I think you do a little more damage if you headshot him, but yeah, I just it's so hard to actually aim at his head that uh, I'm just going to keep going for the center of mass shots. And now that all the uh, regular mobs are not gone, this is a much easier boss fight. I'm no longer as panicked. That was just a huge number of regular enemies. Um, 
that was that was I've mentioned before you get raided in this game like enemy in the the enemies will come together and fight you um, that was more enemies than you might see at a raid that was quite a large number of enemies but didn't die so that's good that was cool that was a fun little time I'm kind of running out of trees. I spent all my energy drawing my bow there, but I couldn't even release the arrow because I ran out of energy. Uh, so I'm getting a little closer. He'll break through these rocks, but they're tougher than the trees as well. Oh, I shot a tree. Not useful. Um, but he'll break through the rocks. Does it hurt? Yes, I've died to trees. Trees hurt a lot. They don't hurt a little. They hurt a lot. They, Yeah, so um, like this tree as it's falling will will smack you really hard. Um, and if you don't have a, a large HP pool, it'll just kill you. Um, so, I will, I've died to trees before, and there's a good chance at some point during the rest of the, the game, you know, the content here, for the rest of my days in Valheim, I'll die to trees again. Um, it's always a little embarrassing, a little funny, but it happens. Um, I was talking with a different chatter on another stream, and dying to a tree in Valheim is kind of like a rite of passage. You're not really a Valheim player until you've died to a tree. And I'm going to go ahead and drink this potion. This boss fight's pretty smooth now. I'm pretty okay with this. After all the chaos at first, I'm, you know, much more comfortable with this. Do I have arrows? Yeah, still 65 arrows. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah. Yeah, you, you don't know, right? Yeah, you'll, you'll never know until you get hit by one. And then you die. And you're like, they hurt really bad. They indeed do hurt. Um, but so this is going pretty smoothly, pretty smoothly post, post the, the wildness. He's down under half. The elder's under half HP. Um, at least roughly under half. I don't know. There's no percentage, but I'm just looking at the bar there and I'm taking a guess that this is under half. And then these, these standing stone structures that were built by like a previous culture or just previous Val uh, Vikings or whatever, they, they're really tanky. So I'm actually going to try to stand by, behind them as long as possible. Okay, this is, this is smooth. And he, I don't think the game is broken or anything. I think the AI is intentionally not walking forward. Um, this boss does this attack a lot. The later game bosses are um, tougher as well. You won't be able to just stand there and dodge their attacks like I'm doing. Uh, you'll have to interact with them a little more. But this boss is not, not too easy or anything. Um, especially with the mobs around it. But it's, again, this is the second boss of the game. And the first boss is pretty like pretty much a tutorial boss. Like you're, It's supposed to be really easy. So this is kind of the first real challenge. Um, so I, they wouldn't make it too hard. The very final boss was incredibly difficult. It took me hours to kill the final boss on my, my first playthrough. And I say final boss. The game's in development. The current, you know, latest developed boss. Um, and I don't think that's that was unique to me. I think it's quite common for your first attempts at the final boss, if you don't know what you're doing, for it to take like an hour plus. Um, okay, maybe the AI is a little broke right now. I don't know why he's not attacking. He's just standing there. Okay, he's, he's attacking. Um, as I mentioned, sometimes the AI is not perfect, but that's, that's okay. And I'm not going to shoot the arrows to kill him because he's a giant tree. There's only one way to kill him. That's going to be with my axe. And I, I could actually kill him with the arrows, but I mean, come on. He's a giant tree. I got to chop him down. Oh, he might burn down before I get there. No, okay, he won't. So you can melee him, um, and he has a melee attack and stuff. So I'm going to drink a potion, just because I want to be full HP. I would hate to die. Let's go! Yeah, it has to be poetic. So that's the Elder. Let's go, Pog, Pog, Pog. I'm so excited. Didn't die at all. I killed the first boss, Deathless, and killed the Elder, Deathless. I've died, you know, five times elsewhere, but not to the Elder or to the other boss. So that was a good fight. And, oh, I need to clear some room for his trophy. Um, you have to take every boss's trophy back to uh, Odin. Oh, and the Swamp Key. This is the uh, the unlock. So every time you kill a boss, it gives you something. Like, it's different each time for each boss. But it gives you a tool 
to make it to the next boss or to uh, progress through the next biome. So this is a swamp key. So if you're, you know, a little, if you're thinking about it, you might note the next biome is indeed a swamp. So the next area that I've unlocked uh, access to, well, it's not access to, I could go there now, but I've unlocked the progression through is um, the swamps. I won't go there quite yet. Again, um, I'm going to shut the stream down in a moment, but I'm also not really prepared for the swamps, even though I've taken out the boss. So I'm going to leave my boat here. Um, I built the dock for it, but I don't want a boat back. That's going to be a long journey. Um, so I'm going to leave the boat there, and I'm going to go put the, uh, the elder's head up on Odin's wall. Odin wants it, and therefore I'm going to give it to him. I'll go to sleep. I don't like how the game looks at night. I think it looks better during the day. So that boss fight, after all the mobs were taken care of, actually wasn't too tough. Um, I think maybe the first time I played this game and fought him, I was just bad. Um, so I was maybe overhyping the difficulty. Didn't mean to, uh, didn't mean to bait anyone. I was genuinely afraid of what that boss was going to do. Uh, it might have seemed a little easier at the end there, but... And I'm just now realizing I, I spent this whole time... I built these oak trees to make my fence touching the oak trees, and then I skipped one. That, that oak tree is just not part of my fence. That's a big oof. It doesn't matter. It was just for aesthetics, but I'll chop it down. So here we go. You can see on the map, you spawn in here when the game starts at Odin's Odin's walls, Odin's stone walls, but... Yeah, with the mobs, that was, that was pretty tough. But after the mobs were taken care of, it was um, a little bit less than I thought it was going to be. So I just hope no one thinks I was, you know, trying to clickbait or whatever, like, jabait you into thinking it's hard when it's not. Um, oh, here's the Elder. I was like, which one's the Elder? It's the super tall one. So that's his skull. And then boom. That's a great power. So you can only have one power, so I have to give up my Ike tier power to unlock this power. But if I want to go back, I can just click it. But, um, so that's it. And then you can see here, there's little, little spoilers about what each boss might be. Um, but so that's the Elder. I took it out. And now I can chop wood faster while I have its power active. Which, um, I'm sure, I'm sure if you know much about Valheim, you know you chop a, a lot of wood. So this is really useful. Yeah, like the standing stones in Skyrim, very much like that. You, you can only have one active, but the each one, you know, whichever one you have active is very powerful. But this is a buff that's up temporarily. So at the bottom left of my screen, you can see it says the Elder, and there's a timer. When that timer runs down, I'll be able to activate the ability, and then for five minutes, it'll be active, and it has a 20-minute cooldown. Um, so it's not, not permanent like the standing stones, but, but similar in other ways. And this is where the spot we've ended the stream every day so far. Looking in at my house, standing outside. So I want to thank everyone. Today was a great day. Lots of new follows, lots of chat. It was just great. It was very fun meeting all the new people. It was fun chatting with everyone who's been here before. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. It's a little bit of an extended stream, so I hope you all liked that as well. Not that long. But thank you so much. I'm here every day, so I'll be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. to start off with RimWorld at 11 a.m. RimWorld. So thank you so much. It was great chatting with you. I'll see you next time. Hey, everyone. Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you next time.